Hello everyone. Uh, Alright, so as you can tell by the title of the video, uh, you already know what I'm going to talk about and what's on my focus of uh, view right now. Uh, I'm just walking to the end of my neighborhood right now and I um, just want to talk to you about um, the people I've talked with and the people from, uh, you know, Marathon that I've talked to about this. Why I think these wire-mounted traffic lights are better than the ones you see, you know, hung on poles and put all over the intersection. Well, one of the reasons I'll tell you right now is because it's a much neater design, and what I mean by that is um, you don't have poles all over the place, all, all going on every direction, and at the same time, you um, you have uh, you know just a couple for each intersection, and as you can see, uh, you have more than just one. Um, light uh, on each set. You can see that um, the, that middle light right there is uh, pointing in four directions instead of just, you know, um, a couple of them. And um, another reason too is, you know, as you can see, this wire spans the entire intersection. So uh, pretty much as a result, you can, for the most part, put the lights anywhere you want because it covers the whole intersection as opposed to the poles that only go over about, you know, halfway in the intersection and then, you know, th that's, that's the amount of space that you have. And, um, you know, a lot of people, I don't think, really seem to trust the structural design of these wire-mounted lights, but, you know, they're actually pretty good because, you know, we had a Hurricane Irene come through here back in August, and as you can see, they did fine. They're still up here. And these lights have actually been up here for quite a long time. Um, I don't know if you can see, but if I zoom in here, you can see there's kind of some paint coming off of that traffic light there. And, um, and like I said, you just have, it's kind of hidden, but the other poles over there, you just have a strand of wire between two poles, and it's a much cleaner design. And as a matter of fact, um, these lights don't have it, but a lot of newer wire-mounted lights, I think this might be code nowadays, is they have a lower cable going across it to help them from, you know, swinging all over the place. So, you know, it helps keep them stable. But as you can see here, these have been through a lot of storms, these three lights, and they're still doing very well. Um, and another thing is too, just, you know, the hung, the hungover pole design is just very bulky in my opinion, and it's just kind of messy if you ask me. These are a much cleaner and neater design than those other types. Um, and, uh, and actually, um, one of the reasons, this is kind of an intro video, um, I'll post it as a video response, but I'm actually going to drive through an intersection, or actually a road, including some intersections that I drove through a lot when I was in high school. And you'll see basically uh, what um, what I'm talking about. How they've changed the lights, where like they don't even span the whole intersection anymore, and um, it's now like a whole mess. And um, a lot of the lights are put on the wrong side of the road, so that's that's some good work right there, right? And actually, this one pole over here. Here's the other pole for the traffic lights. Um, I can never quite understand why they put it back here as opposed to over there. But then I realized. Let's look up. We've got a bunch of wires there, so <laughs> I don't think um, it would be very wise to put a metal pole by all those wires. And in fact, there's an old wood pole here. Maybe this is where the lights were mounted on before they expanded this road uh, for the lights there, and then, you know, maybe they moved them back here after that, so, you know. And I guess that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I just wanted to give an intro as to why I think these design lights are much better, and in fact, they've actually changed a lot of them around this area, which is pretty unfortunate. You know me, I think I, I, I just like this design better, so... And, you know, ever, if, the, if the town ever changes these lights to, you know, either to the pole-mounted design or to, you know, um, change them to the LEDs, because these are still the either incandescent or halogen lights, um, I'm hoping maybe I can grab these lights someday. I think I'd kind of like that. And, um, yeah, it's basically it, guys. So I just wanted you to get an idea of what I mean by wire-mounted traffic lights. And um, just to see what I'll be showing you in my next videos, okay? So, uh, thanks for watching.